Another way to find more competitors is to use the Organic Research Competitors tab. Enter in a domain, in this example, marqueeyachts.com. You can see what websites are closely related and rank for common keywords. Click the Export button to download the data in a spreadsheet. Now sort the exported data by organic traffic. Most of the competing yacht websites had 5,000 to 10,000 organic traffic. Eliminate all sites well outside of the range, both above and below. Then sort and remove websites with only a few common keywords. Highlighted in green are the websites of known direct competitors. Let's take a look at some of the non-highlighted websites to find more relevant competitors. BoatInternational.com does not appear to be a direct competitor. Prestige Yachts and SeaRay.com are two new direct competitors. Just Lux is a potential place to get a link. GelatiYachts.com looks like a for sale website. HMY.com is a reseller of multiple brands. Nautic Expo is not a manufacturer. This is a survey site. And this is a reseller. Go ahead and clean up your list. Highlighted in red are indirect competitors, and in yellow, two new direct competitors. Both of these competitors rank for yacht-related keywords. For example, PrestigeYachts.com ranks for yachts, and SeaRay.com ranks for sport yachts. Export all the keywords for your competitors. To save recording time, I will demonstrate how to export one and then pause the recording while I download the data for the other nine yacht websites. After you've downloaded all of the files, combine all the spreadsheets together into one master keyword list. To save recording time, I will again pause the video. On the combined keyword master list, do your best to remove all the brand related keywords like Frasier and C-Ray. I will pause the video again. Now sort by search volume, largest to smallest, and remove keywords with low search volume. Low is relative to your niche. In this example, I eliminated anything below 390 searches. Then remove non-relevant keywords from your campaign. Use your best judgment, for example, boat-related keywords. I also decided to eliminate keywords related to Cruiser because of the Cruiser Yachts brand. Marquis also wants to sell yachts, not rent them, or conduct charters. So yachts for rent is a keyword that we don't want to target. And same with yacht charters. Some of the keywords are duplicates. Use conditional formatting to highlight duplicate values. Continue to filter out any keywords you may have missed. To remove duplicates, click on the Data tab, highlight All Data, click Remove Duplicates, unselect All, I'm only working with column A keywords, so check that box and click OK. This will remove all duplicate keywords. This leaves us with 23 keywords to drill down on. Let's take a look at Marquis Yacht Offerings. We can see many of these are labeled as Sport Yacht, and some are a little bigger. 
I don't think any of these are mega yachts, so I will eliminate these keywords. Looking through the different brochures, I didn't see any prices listed, so I eliminated the keyword yacht prices. I'm unsure if keywords related to yacht for sale are valuable. This can only be answered through testing. Next, we'll want to organize our spreadsheet. Organize the keywords into different categories, for example, broad keywords related to yachts, buying and for sale keywords, manufacture and company keywords. There are two keywords that need further investigation. Another way to create categories is to divide them into the different stages of buying and research. A keyword that I may have missed or accidentally deleted was Sport Yacht, which has a search volume of 590. How does SEMrush compare to Google Keyword Planner? Start with the seed keyword, Yachts. I exported the relevant keywords into a spreadsheet. Then, pasted in all of the keywords found during keyword research and competitive analysis. After highlighting duplicate values, it is clear that Google Keyword Planner missed several keywords. SEMrush has a very powerful keyword research tool. Use the full search tab and enter in your seed keyword, in this example, yachts. Then click Export. This spreadsheet has more keywords than Google Keyword Planner. As you can see, SEMrush found all of our potential target keywords. This is why you really need to use a paid tool to do keyword research, instead of relying on Google Keyword Planner. In the next video, you will learn how to determine keyword difficulty using off-page SEO factors.